Uh, Keith, tell us a little bit about what you've got here. Okay, what I'm really excited about today is that we launched the Cube 3. So everybody's familiar with the Cube. Um, a real simple to use, machine for your home. We're mainstreaming 3D printing, but we're making it easy for people to print. It's a dual jet 3D printer. So this is the jet right here. Um, two colors, um, multi-materials, ABS and PLA, 70, super high definition uh, layer thinness. Layer thinness, right? 75 nice. microns. So that's really exciting. Um, it's factory level, so no longer do you have to worry about leveling your platform. So these kind of features make it easy and simple for the maker to make anything they want, make their dreams come a reality, and it looks beautiful. This is a great feature for this machine. Um, so you, we all know about loading cartridges and, and uh, filament. Um, this cartridge actually comes with an Instaload. It's an Instaload cartridge uh, with an integrated nozzle. So the nozzle is actually you. I'll show you how it works. You put it right in the receptacle. Boom. Now your filament is loaded. No longer do you have to wait for it to load. This is going to be a, a sub one thousand dollar machine. So really affordable machine for for the maker. The first time uh, dual dual extrusion for that price. I mean. Fantastic. It's really great. And what I love is you have the design feed on your phone, a smartphone, and you can print wirelessly um, through Wi-Fi and Bluetooth to your Cube or your Cube Pro um, from your phone now. So there's a mobility aspect for this. Fantastic. And when do you expect that mobile app to be released? So this is all coming out in um, the second quarter of the year um, when the Cube launches. And um, we'll have all pricing information then. Um, the Cube Pro was also launched today, which is uh, a larger uh, build volume. You know, it prints uh, 10 by 10 by 8. We're here with the creators of the Sugar Lab. And um, they're going to tell us a little bit about their sugar and chocolate 3D printer today. And we're really excited about this new technology. So here they are. Yeah, thank you very much for having us. We are the co-founders of the Sugar Lab. And out of our home studio in Los Angeles, California, we make sugar confections and chocolate confections that we build with local bakeries. Kyle and I both have backgrounds in architecture. So we were introduced to 3D printing technology in architecture school. And we both immediately became really fascinated with that type of making and really interested in hacking the systems a bit, using different materials, different system configurations. And we did a lot of that in graduate school. And we bought a used CJP printer, so used systems technology, and we are experimenting with it with all kinds of things, all kinds of different materials. And one of the things we were really interested in was sugar. And we got really good results kind of right off the bat. And so we thought there was really something there. And we did a lot of experimentation, really honing in on the right recipes and the right materials and getting it working really well. These will be the first 3D printers that are certified, food safe, ready to go in the kitchen. Yeah, they can sit right next to an oven in your kitchen, day one. When is this printer coming out? It will come out in the second half of this year. Excellent. Well, in the second half of this year, makers, look for the 3D printer from the Sugar Wow. And what is the name of the printer? It's called the Chef Jet and the Chef Jet Pro. Fantastic. Sarah Jet is a development of uh, the 3D, the ceramic 3D printing process that I've been pretty much working on for uh, the last 20 years. It is pretty much a conventional ceramic process after that, although we do have some very sort of uh, special sauce that we use to uh, allow the pieces to be glazed um, and to create objects that are going to be durable enough for uh, everyday use. But the resolution is dependent really on the shrinkage that we get during firing. So we have developed the process to be very highly repeatable and we actually um, build in shrinkage factors into the pieces when we load them into the build. The machine should be available in the second half of this year. I can't wait to get my hands on one and test it out. This is amazing. Well, so just you can upload your design and we'll have it made for you next week. So. Fantastic. Well, Andrew Jeffrey, thank you so much for talking to us. Thanks, Anna. Bye bye. Time. Essentially, this printer is a uh, powder in binder process. Uh, it's similar to our more expensive machines uh, that we sell to uh, bigger businesses. This one is the first one of its kind to be sold to the consumer and prosumer market. So it'll be priced under five thousand dollars when it comes out uh, second half of Q of uh, second half of 2014. Brian, thanks so much for your time. You're welcome. Excellent.